Yes, guys. The Redeemer to all once again. And here at the mighty Grinder Highway, which was formerly Spring Garden Highway, which is just off of Bridgeton, headed towards the west coast of the island, looking towards the direct, looking in the, in the southerly direction to the section that takes you back to Bridgeton via the Bridgeton Port, the Water Harbor. Kensington Oval, Brothers Beach, and back to Bridgetown. And looking towards the section that takes you back to the north and west of the island. The road to the right, to the left, sorry. It takes you back to Brandon's Beach via Rascals, which was once Voyagers on the bay. It takes you back to the Hot Park and back to Brighton Beach. The road to the left, to the right. It takes you back to Brighton Road via Black Rock, Ashdeen Village, Deacon's Farm, and Carrollton Supermarket. Here you can see the Mamala Motors. Mamala, an Indian family that owned many buses. The yellow buses with the blue stripe, some of the white Zara vans with the maroon stripe. And also some rent cars as well. Straight ahead. I said straight ahead already. That's the way straight ahead will take you back to the fight war around the boat to the north and west of the island and back to the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. And from here you can see the light and power substation which is just outside of the hot pot. Which is where the turbines for in for the generators. Generators that generate current for Barbados. The Lady Power is our main source of electricity here in Barbados. And it was established in 1911. The Lady Power's main office is on Bay Street. This is just down below the garrison historic area and UNESCO where Heritage Center. Looking towards, looking in the southern direction again towards Brandon's Beach side. But this will take you back into Bridgetown via the Bridgetown Port, the Water Harbor, the Flower Mill, Chesington Oval, and so on. And this is the site where workbench used to be. I know a new business is moving in here, it's not being constructed. Workbench used to manufacture furniture years ago until it was destroyed by fire in 
this place. This is the mighty Gwena Highway, which was formerly Spring Garden Highway. It was renamed the Mighty Gwena Highway on Saturday, the 29th of June. Twenty nineteen. It was named after one of our Calexonians, the mighty Buena, who is from Barbados and he's also from this area as well. Yes, good. Up in here you can see Marmola Motors, G4S Security and Gisline Freighting as well. This is a mighty Gwena Highway, formerly Spring Garden Highway. Years ago, all here was Barnes Beach. The beach used to come all the way here until 1980, the mid, early to mid 80s, when they start cutting the road to make provision for a highway. Under the leadership of Barbados' second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, he soon made that was his vision for the Spring Garden Highway to be built for easy access to the north and west of the island instead of having to go all through Eagle Hall when you're coming from town. You can go straight up this road and and, and easy access to University of the West Indies that like KFA campus or to the south to the west coast or north of the island. Or vice versa. If you're coming from the west coast into town, you can also use this road. Space. Thanks for watching. Once again. And have a blessed evening.
Mm. And again, this is the site where our bench used to be. And that storage A and T Marine, and that store will be AK Supplies. Best Supplies Pet Food. I think that's owned by Claude Battering Group family. And along the Mighty Gwena Highway, they will find a lot of your friend of warehouses and industrial estates as well. All along the Mighty Gwena Highway. Yeah, yeah. 